Hello everyone, this is Christian and in today's video I'm gonna try and fix my girlfriend's laptop. This is a 6 year old HP G62 laptop which currently is really struggling to work for more than 5 or 10 minutes. So let's see what we can do about it. I'm not too certain what the issue is exactly, however I do have a few ideas that I'm going to try out. My game plan is to try and boot it up and in the time before it shuts down I'll install a program to see uh, what are the CPU temperatures and find out whether it's overheating or not. And if it is, I'll open it up and try to clean out the heatsink as well as replace the thermal paste. I think it's a good idea for you to install a program like the one that I'm using called CPUID HW Monitor. These programs in general are serving the purpose of giving you the information of the different sensors on the motherboard which will allow you to uh, monitor how well the CPU is performing and hopefully it won't be overheating. Now I will install it on this laptop and see if I can get any information before it actually starts shutting down again. Wish me luck! Now that we have installed the software, I'll try to just load up the computer and see what happens. It's not looking too promising when after just 3 or 4 minutes of watching videos on um, YouTube, our max temperatures have reached over 100 degrees Celsius. Before starting the disassembly, I'll give you a quick rundown of all the tools and uh, materials that I'm going to use. Here we have an air duster, uh, a bit of uh, isopropanol alcohol, uh, some Q-tips, uh, one larger screwdriver, one small screwdriver, the thermal paste, as well as some tape and sheets of paper where we'll be using those for just marking up all of the screws that we take out. Turns out that those screws have a small circlip to keep them in place, which is actually quite clever.
Even though it's not necessary, I think now it's a good time to replace the motherboard battery as well. What I'm going to do now is remove the heatsink and the fan. I've just opened up the fan and look at all of that dust that's gathered up in here. This is insane. I will need to clean off all of the remaining thermal paste before applying the new one. Now that we have all of the parts cleaned as much as possible, it's time for reassembly. That's it, we managed to boot up the computer and it seems to be working just fine, so I would call that a success. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.